Here we go. Oh! So literally we're in the middle of the road and we got about two two we got about two or three pictures that are amazing. You guys wanna see what the picture looked like? What's up babe? You ready to go? Yes. <laughs> so there it was in the middle of the street in Bangkok during rush hour shooting a campaign for Mercedes-Benz. Now you guys may ask, hey, yo Mike, is this legal? The answer is yes, absolutely, it's legal. But let my previous self in that location tell you how and why I made this legal. This is completely legal because it's in the center of the road and I've asked the police to kind of help me block the car over here before. It is amazing because it's all lit up in the middle of the city over there. Over here on the left, we got the uh, kind of like an old school movie theater, Hollywood vibe, so I can shoot from there to here. Over here, we got the Mac, and I can shoot with those kind of rainbow light effect, and I can shoot in the back. So, yo, let's get to it. I'm gonna show you guys the picture. My girlfriend is gonna film me, BTS a little bit, and that's our first set today. So guys, now that we know it's legal, let me add on just a few things before I tell you guys what setting I use for my camera and what light painting tool I use to get this picture. That's three things in general. I mean, that's two and a half, actually. One, make sure that the area is completely legal. Two, if it's not legal, go ask somebody for the permission. Three, make sure that your car is safe and secure, not in the way of traffic, and that somebody is there with you when you're shooting. A couple of other times I was there, I had the police secure the place and look out for me. This particular time, my girlfriend was looking out for me, so I'm safe. Make sure you have these set up before you shoot, okay guys? And now that we got the safety out of the way, let's get into what are my camera setting, how I set it up, and what light, what light? what light tools I use to light paint these pictures. So first and foremost, guys, camera setting. You guys are gonna want a tripod, obviously. Set your camera on a tripod, that's number one. Number two, make sure that the shutter button, make sure that your shutter button is set on negative five. That's gonna give you two advantage. Number one, no shaky footage. <laughs> number two, it gives you five seconds to run from your camera to your subject. Third, let's talk about the ISO. ISO, I find that the best ISO is between 100 and 300 depending on the environment and how much light you have around your environment. Last but not least, your shutter speed. Shutter speed, I find it the best. Whether you're shooting a milk bottle or coffee bottle or you're shooting a car, I find that the best shutter speed is between 10 and 15. That will give you the enough, uh, enough lumen to play with the light later on in Photoshop and enough time to paint the light. In this particular one, I got it set on 13 because I need to run to the car and then I have 13 seconds to paint the side of the car, the back of the car to the other side of the car. And I promise you guys what tools I use to light paint this picture and these pictures. Uh, here it is guys. I use a light from a brand called Luxio. Uh, the first one I use can only change the seven color. It's called Luxio P1. This one I use is called the Luxio P6. It has all your basic need like hue adjustment, saturation adjustment, brightness adjustment, 64 colors, and your preset light, police, parties, and thunder. So if you wanna get this, I'll link the link down on where you can get my Luxio P6 down below, but if they don't have it because you're from North America or somewhere else, you guys can also get on Ali, not Ali Express, I'm sorry, uh, Amazon and eBay. You wanna look for brand like Nonlight or Godox. They have the same thing. My tips or advice would be get the one that at least 20 centimeters, sorry, 20 inches long, uh, don't get the six inch one or the short one because you want your light trail to be long and epic, right? Um, like I said, brands such as Godox and Nanlite has that. But if you're here on the other side of the world, like Asia, actually, this is Europe right now, but my home is based in Asia. So if you're here in Asia, um, AliExpress will have a lot. Uh, and if you're on low budget or if you're just a starting photography and you don't have a budget of over $100 to get these, uh, be creative, guys. I've, I've, I've used a flashlight to, to shoot a Lamborghini campaign before. And recently, I had this lightsaber stick I got from the beach for under $10 to shoot a McLaren campaign on one of the picture. You guys wanna see that picture? Check it out, I think it's pretty epic, but you be the judge.
pretty cool, right? You guys wouldn't even know that, you know, I used a $10 lightsaber stick I got off the beach for that. But anyways, guys, that's that. Hopefully, this vlog will inspire you to go out and shoot. And if you guys didn't know about slow shutter speed photography, hopefully, this vlog will help. Again, with the setting, with the environment. And if you guys want to know more in-depth details on how I shoot, this picture, this picture, or these pictures, let me know and I'll walk you through the internal setting of my camera as well as my tips and tricks on how to use to edit these pictures in Lightroom and Photoshop. I guarantee you guys will walk away learning a few things or two and it will up jump your skills to the next level. So guys, if this is helpful, if you guys like my shit, like my shit, uh, like, subscribe. I'll be bringing you guys more content like this every week, especially when it comes to night photography, street photography, and car photography, as well as my life update because I'm moving around. I got a lot of projects coming out with cars. W124, Mercedes. Life, general, getting married, good stuff. Anyways, guys, like, subscribe. Love y'all. See y'all on the next one, next Thursday. Peace. Three.